Today I'm going to be reviewing a Wopet automatic pet feeder. Before I start the video, I need to inform you that this is not a paid promotional ad. I am not being compensated through the link in the description ad. The link is just the Amazon link for this particular product. It is not an affiliate link. I do not get paid for this. I got this for free in exchange. Well, technically I don't even have to do the video. They sent it to me for free. I've tried it out for a couple of weeks and now I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Free content for me, free content for you. So, to begin with, it is the Wopet automatic feeder. I don't see a part number. But again, I will have a link in the video description. It is definitely best for small animals. There's no way you're gonna feed it two dogs or a bunch of cats or large dogs with this thing. But for uh, small pets, just keeping food on hand easily without having to bend over or do anything, pretty convenient. $85, not necessarily what I would pay for anything like this. It is convenient, it does have some nice features, blah, 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 but 85 bucks. Again, if you're on social security and bending over is not an option, you could have your home hospice lady fill this up once every few days or once a week and you don't have to do anything. It does have six programmable times so you can set, uh, you know, six different times a day. It'll get out food for you. This light here will change to red when the food level gets below a certain amount. There's some sensors in there, kind of convenient. It lets you know when the food is low. There's no O-ring on the lid and there's no locking mechanism. So a smart dog is gonna be able to kick this thing over and then push there's all the food. There's also a programmable voice stamp. That's pretty neat. So when one of the program times it dumps out food, you can save a 10 second voice recording. So it'll play up to six times and it, you can say, you know, come and get some food or hey, you little shit, whatever. Um, if you want to go ahead and pump out some food, you just double tap on this guy. And here they come. They know what that means. So for these guys, it works pretty well. Uh, he's about 30 pounds, she's about 20. So for them, being able to come and get food whenever they want, uh, I have it set up to four times a day. It dumps a bunch of food out for them. And it says, uh, you know, come get some food, whatever. You know, it's, it's fairly convenient. If I'm gone for the day at a car show or something and I forget to dump them some food in their bowl, then they definitely have food available. Comes with a USB plug and the USB cable, which is really nice. And there's also the option of using batteries. It's pretty neat. Again, not my uh, cup of tea at $85. I would not have paid that. I'd probably be more in the 40 to $60 range for this particular item, especially without the locking lid and no O-ring in case, you know, if you don't have it dumping food very often, the food could potentially go stale. And then maybe like something for this cable to, uh, you know, Obviously a piece of tape could do it, but if you're paying 85 bucks, you know, this thing could be attached because most times it's gonna be on the floor. So there you go. That is my uh, unabashed opinion of this. I'm not at all recommending it unless you feel you want this. And uh, you can obviously search up where I'm sure there's tons of companies that make these. Instagram right now is blowing up with the one that connects to your Wi-Fi and you can see them on a camera and it's out a treat. So that might be more your style. But if you do need an automatic pet feeder and you're willing to pay 85 bucks for the convenience of, you know, six different programmable times, it's got the light to let you know when it's low, it turns red, uh, you know, removable tray. That was kind of neat. I thought you can pop that out in case it's dirty wash it, etc. but not bad. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, keep on modding. Oh.